guys, this is Mark coming to you from Thor. Uh, today I'm going to show you an IPTV encoder we have called the HD Performox. So from our website, if you click here on IPTV video encoders, it's going to be the first product shown. And as you can see, it's an H.264 encoder, UDP, RTP, RTSP, uh, and it comes in 4, 8, 16, or 24. I have a 24 channel hooked up. Uh, we did make some slight modifications to it. Uh, the newest model does have an ASI input and output. Uh, we removed the data port, so you only need one now connected. And there's still the NMS port for the management system. The management system I already have up. You can see here 192.168.0.136. This is what the splash screen is going to look like. Uh, and this encoder is super easy to set up to just get going with basic uh, inputs. So if you click on the encoder part one, the 24 channels actually set up for one to eight inputs, nine to 16, and then 17 to 24. So here, when you click on the first channel, these are going to be your first eight HDMI inputs. Okay. And here's going to be your new splash screens. So you have your options. You can change everything in here as you please. I always suggest leaving resolution on the output as automatic. So whatever goes in, goes out. You can change your bit rate, set that up from 1 to 13 megabits. Uh, for audio, we have added AC3 pass-through now. And, of course, MPEG-1 layer 2. Uh, again, audio gain. PCR PIDs. And here you can see that I only have one device hooked up to this 24 port model. Uh, it's just a DVD player, just so I can show you guys how easy this is to set up. The DVD player is going at 1080i right now. Uh, and again, you can change your bit rate to whatever you like it to be. And once you set up all your parameters, just hit apply. And that's how quick it is. Okay. Uh, some other things here you can add in on your custom channels. You can add in a logo. You can add in a short little caption. And you can also put in a QR code. This is a cool little uh, thing we've done. So let's say you're a hotel and some of your channels are showing, let's say, the dinner special for that evening. Put the QR code for your restaurant in the corner. And people can literally use your cell phone to make reservations, for example. Uh, but you can use that in any way you please with your QR code. Uh, just some different options here for you guys. And again, um, all your settings here are at the bottom. So again, going back to the first encoder, you're going to you know, have your ability to do all eight. As you can see here, I don't have anything else hooked up besides the one DVD player. So these are all going to be showing zero bit rate, zero megabits per second with the input lock on red. But again, if I go back to the first one, you'll see this one is streaming quite nicely. And again, HDMI inputs 9 through 16, same thing. Okay. And you can change all your settings per channel. Uh, jumping ahead to TS config. Uh, here are some options. MPTS, SPTS, depending on how you have your system set up. Uh, again, if you have single program transport streams, you can go over here and you can adjust your PIDs. I uh, change the name on it, however you like. It's very intuitive, very easy to do. Uh, you know, and over here you also have your USB. That's also an addition on the newer models. You can have a there's a USB port on the front of the unit, and I'll show you that menu in a second. Um, because you can actually use that to create your own channel as well. And also the ASI input and output, as I mentioned. You go to IP streams, again, your MPTS. And here I have mine set up on UDP. And the port's 2002. I'll get to that in a second and show you guys. Again, you can change all your settings here. If you remove these checks and hit apply, you won't be able to press this. Okay. So that's why it's important. You can go here, enable null packet filter, 
You can change all your settings as you like. Uh, this is kind of irrelevant because like I showed you earlier, these encoders only go from one to 13 megabits per second. Um, and that's, I don't know why the stock number is 30, but it can only go up to 13. Uh, again, this is a newer option here. You can actually plug in a USB port and you can select a single file, a loop. And again, that can be short videos of a resort. It could be your menu. There's really countless possibilities for how you can utilize this. Uh, and again, network for setting it up. Okay. The cloud thing is irrelevant. That's something we're working on, but it's not, not functional yet. Password for the unit, configuration, factory settings, uh, backing up your configuration page here, firmware, date, time, log, basic settings. Most important thing here is, again, you just want to set up your data rate. You can go to each unit, each input, however you like, and set it up however you like. And again, when you're back here, your first eight inputs are going to be split up into three different groups because there's three different encoders in there for the 24 port unit. And again, you can set this up however you like. It's pretty simple. So I want to just go show you guys uh, how easy this is. So for example, this is 224, 222, and then 2002. And again, each individual one of these channels, uh, you can create on your network, on your subnet. Uh, the port's important so you can show everybody uh, you know, 24 different programs. So of course, this is just the encoder. Uh, we also need to decode that video program that's on our network. Um, so I actually just have it hooked up to my PC right now. So I'm gonna switch it to, from the NMS port to the data port, but I wanna open up VLC player here for you. And open up the network stream and here's a syntax for a udp and 2002 is a port for my one stream and so i hit play here but again i'm going to go ahead and change the run rj45 jack from nms to data because the data output is actually the dvd player and here is the splash screen of the dvd player uh, I just threw in a DVD in there just to show you guys. But that's how easy it is. That's it. So in this case, I just showed you VLC decoding. VLC is really good to just mess around with this kind of stuff. And you can kind of make your own closed circuit network television through IPTV. And that's how easy it is. All right, if you guys have any questions or have any interest about the HD Performux, specifically the 24 port model or any other models, give us a call. You can look at these products at thorbroadcast.com.